All right, what's going on, everybody? Gaby Card Stacks here. Had a nice little run of sales this weekend. Some big ticket items sold over Memorial Day. So let's uh, talk about what moved, what it sold for, and just my overall thoughts. All right, first one up, Jonah Coleman, Mojo, Red, Red Fire, I don't know, but it's a one of one. And I picked this up at auctions, I think, for probably $5 all in. You know, U of A guy now at Washington. One of my favorite, probably my second favorite player during the 2023 season for Arizona. Followed UW, I kind of figured as much. He's going to be one of the best running backs in the country. So I really wanted, uh, you know, to buy into it. But 101, not my favorite. I prefer auto. So decided to list it at $30 plus shipping and it sold, I think, to somebody in Washington. So hopefully they can enjoy it. Jonah Coleman, though, one of the best running backs. I think he had like 900 yards uh, and, and a handful of touchdowns, maybe eight touchdowns and in a loaded backfield as well. So I don't know what the rest of UW's running back room. I mean, they're all Arizona guys. Adam Muhammad followed them. Jordan Washington, two four-star guys. Or Adam Muhammad, probably not a four-star guy. Mid three-star, really good running back, but dominated a low level of football in Arizona. So I'm curious to see how, how he does. Jordan Washington seems like the real deal. So I expect Jonah to get the majority of the carries. Nice little flip there. Oh, I'm taking a loss on this one. Kylan Boswell, Black Sapphire, number to 10. When it came out, I was like, you know what? I'm going to go hard on you know U of A, PC stuff. But at the end of the day, I really do not care about Arizona basketball. They could win a national championship, and it really wouldn't impact my life in any way. Uh, I'd get like a, a cool Final Four t-shirt or a national championship shirt. That's about it. But otherwise, yeah, I think I paid 30 bucks for this. It was like $30 starting bid. And I was like, you know what? You're not going to find a black Sapphire. I bought this, I think, before the tournament as well. It's like, you know what? I think Arizona could make a run. If they do, you know, I'll be prepared for it. This ended up selling for like $18 plus a dollar shipping. I'm probably losing about 15 bucks, probably more to be honest, probably 20 bucks on this card. But again, just evaluated it and I was like, you know what? <clears throat> Not for my PC. I'm just a football guy. Jalen Daniels got this on Sport Lots with that order that got entirely messed up. I think this sold for five bucks. I think I got it for probably a dollar. Jalen, we'll see what he does this year. Uh, this was an interesting sale. Denzel Burke, Gold Lava Auto to 50, number 17 of 50. Got this a while ago. I think I got it in Ryan's Discord uh, for like 20-ish bucks and thought that was a really good deal at the time. I think it was like maybe $20, $24 shipped. Should be one of the best corners in the draft in the country. Uh, had a great freshman year, pretty solid sophomore year down junior year no well he had a down year i don't remember what year it was um and then had a, a decent year this upcoming year decided to return for his final year he's local to me from saguaro high school so i've kind of followed his recruitment uh fairly well he was a very highly ranked kid denzel burks this one i think i had listed for 70 a ton of watchers on it someone sent an offer for 40 and i went to go look and there was one that was newly listed for like 19.99 plus a dollar 25 shipping so i immediately uh, bought that one and then accepted this offer. So uh, I like kind of a, a little arbitrage, I guess, just buying that one at $24 all in and then accepting this offer. So now the comp is back up at 40. I, you know, get out of the card, reinvest into the card again. So I'm, I'm not really out of that position and I like being in uh, the Denzel Burke market. Uh, Curtis Rourke. Number to 100 on the Sage Auto in his Ohio Uni. I think he's from Canada, now at Indiana. I'm high on Indiana, probably higher than most. You'll see them in the bottom five or so on power rankings. You'll see Curtis Rourke in the bottom five of quarterback rankings. I'm not necessarily, I guess, buying into Curtis Rourke, but Indiana really think that they've uh, they've got something going on with uh, Kurt Signetti. He brought in a lot of his JMU boys. Uh, they've really hit the portal hard in a lot of areas. So again, buying into him. This one sold for $21 shipped. I was fine with that. I am a little sad. I wish I could have multiple golds number to 100. Hand numbered, I think is cool. I wouldn't pay 21 for it though. So I'll probably try to go back in. I have a decent amount of some of his other red and black and I think silver autos but something to look out for uh cam rising black sapphire auto number 10 of 10 just picked up another one in one of my recent mail day videos for like 50 bucks i picked this one up for 50 dollars uh i'm fine i had it listed i think for 110 got a strong offer at 95 and decided to take it one again it bumps up my comp 
There was a previous comp of like 45 or 50 bucks. Now there's one at 95 and I still have another copy. So that's always kind of my thought process. I do like Cam Rising. I like Utah a lot. I go back and forth. Utah, they've been solid over the last decade. Uh, one of the powers in, in the West. And they won, what, eight games with a backup quarterback. They bring back Cam Rising after he tore both his ACLs, I think, in the Rose Bowl in 2022 at this point. Hasn't played in almost two years. Uh, I like OK State. They return a lot. They return their whole line. Uh, Ollie Gordon, lots to like there. Their offense in general, I think, they return 10 starters. And then I like Kansas. Their schedule is just way too easy. They return a great trio at receiver. They've got Jalen Daniels. He needs to stay healthy. Devin Neal, one of the best running backs in the country. Defense, they've got to fill in some holes, but very, very easy schedule. I think they start with like Lindenwood. Nonetheless, uh, Cam Rising, black. I think this, yeah, again, sold for uh, $100 basically, so I was happy about that. Chandler Morris, I'm probably losing or breaking even on this. Red Sapphire, two of five, a uh, little tape there. I bought this just because I was buying into the North Texas hype. Um, <clears throat> just you look at their uh, quarterback history, and now I'm blanking because there's so many Morris. Eric Morris is their head coach, and then Chandler Rogers was their quarterback last year. Now he's at Cal. I don't think he's going to start, but he aired it out. Eric Morris has a history. Uh, started at Incarnate Word with Cam Ward, followed, or I guess went to Wazoo. Cam Ward follows him to Wazoo, and then he becomes the head coach at North Texas. He's put up big numbers in an air raid offense, like a top 10 offense. So like, you know what? Chandler Rogers going. He needs to stay healthy, but I think he could uh, put up some stupid numbers. I don't know about his pro potential, but uh, someone sent an offer. I think I bought this for about $32 all in. I had it listed for 60. Someone sent an offer for 40. And I'm like, you know what? North Texas, not a huge program. Not a lot of eyeballs. I'm getting an offer. I haven't gotten an offer, I think, to this point. So I'll take it. I think 40 is, is a fine price after fees and shipping and everything. I'm probably losing about a dollar. But again, I'm okay transfer jersey-wise just to get out of it. So last one here. Got an offer for, I think, 154 shipped. Spencer Rattler got this at the state show. Might have bought at the peak when, when he was getting all the hype from the Senior Bowl. Uh, Spencer Rattler. 10 of 10, Red Shimmer. Uh, I'm, I've made my money on that state show. I don't know exactly how much. I'm not uh, <clears throat> one to really track all my purchases. I'm a money in, money out guy for accounting purposes and such. But uh, <clears throat> nonetheless, I don't know. I'm, I'm in on Spencer Rattler very heavily. Uh, I have two green autos. One got returned from eBay, one I just picked up. Um, I've got a green auto on Com C. I've got a one of one leaf. Auto, tons of leaf autos on Com C. So I was fine getting out of it. If someone's going to send a strong offer, I think I had it listed for $249.99. Uh, and then someone sent an offer. So I was willing to take that. I think my eBay payout was like $500 this weekend. Um, so that was really nice. So Spencer Rattler, uh, let's, I'll, I'll pull up the screenshot of my shipping order, I guess, to see how much this was. But that was $150, uh, we'll say $200, $300. Uh, 320, 360, 370, 80, so about 400 ish. So, not bad. Uh, we'll, we'll pull up the screenshot. Although that shows tax and shipping, I guess, so it'll be a little inflated, I imagine. But that's everything that's sold. If you enjoyed, drop a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.